For today, of course, marks one week since the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapsed after being hit by a cargo ship. And we've got some new developments coming into our newsroom just within the last hour. But first, Governor Westmore is giving an update on the economic impact and cleanup efforts. Here's what he had to say just moments ago. Rough weather has forced this team to pivot over the last 24 hours, but the mission and the work continues. This morning, crews were setting buoys in the rain to make sure vessels could navigate the waterways. This morning, engineers and salvage teams continued with wreckage assessments and site analysis to make sure that we have a clear understanding of the work site. This is a 24-7 operation. Let's go ahead and bring in our Scott Broom. He was in the briefing room with the governor. And Scott, we understand that you also talked to one of the first business owners to end up applying for some of this relief that the state's offering. Well, we did. Let's uh, wrap on Governor Moore first. Essentially, what he was saying is because of the weather, they have suspended any efforts beginning last night with some lightning to use the big cranes out there to lift any pieces out of the water. But that does not mean there are not divers in the water and sonar assessments going on right now, as well as some cutting on the bridge that's above water in attempts to get it ready to lift some pieces out later on once this weather clears. Yes, Adam, as you just said, uh, there was a focus today on economic economic recovery. Uh, Moore uh, today uh, was at uh, one of two economic recovery centers that's been opened by the federal government. Today I talked to an independent truck driver. His name was Andrew Stanford, worried that he's not going to be able to keep his financial head above water as cargo dries up here in Baltimore. Stanford came to one of those two small business administration recovery relief centers opened up in Baltimore today where business owners can apply for low interest loans up to two million dollars. Here is some of what truck driver Andrew Stanford had to say. We have um, a day, maybe two days left of work in the Baltimore area for most drivers. Um, and most of us had to pay our own expenses, fuel and everything. And now with this happening, we're going to be out of business and then you can't, can't pay no bills or anything like that. So we had to figure out what we had to do. What are your thoughts and reactions to the possibility of being able to sign up for some relief? I just hope and pray that it works. So while the government is getting some relief going, meanwhile, the Army Corps of Engineers this morning released digital sonar images of what's underwater here at the collapsed bridge site. The 3D sonar shows the sheer magnitude and difficulty of this challenging salvage operation, according to a U.S. Army Corps of Engineers statement. Uh, twisted girders laying on the bottom of Baltimore's 50-foot harbor uh, are still attached to the steel and the concrete. Uh, we just had a briefing from the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers General who's in charge of this. She described what the divers are seeing down on the bottom as pancaked material, and they did not see any evidence of any vehicles uh, which may contain the victims uh, of this bridge collapse who have not yet been recovered. They describe the conditions underwater as essentially blind. Uh, it's, it's muddy, it's deep, it's dark. One of the uh, Navy divers uh, said, quote, there's no need to take video of something you can't even see as that diver was explaining why they're using this intense sonar to be able to create these 3D images underwater uh, to give all of us uh, some idea of the gravity of what it's going to take to remove all of that debris. Uh, it looks a lot different underwater than it looks on the surface, and uh, they're warming us up to a very long and complicated operation to get that debris out of this 50-foot channel. Reporting live in Baltimore, Scott Broom, WUSA 9. They just have Simone a mammoth Adam, challenge you. in front of them. The governor describing it earlier today as chaotic wreckage. Scott, I think you did a great job summing that up. Thank you.